Hello, welcome to this episode of Escaping the Echo Chamber. Uh, first things first, give me a like, give me a share, uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, today I want to address Donald Trump's pettiness. Because let's face it, it, it's petty. So he's, this morning, uh, like 12 something in the morning, um, he decides to tweet out something against LeBron James and Don Lemon. Uh, basically, uh, Don Lemon is the, like the dumbest person on television. And LeBron James looks smart in comparison, which is hard to do. So it's taking swipes at both of them over the interview that LeBron gave, uh, had with, Le, uh, with Don Lemon a couple, some days ago. Like, at, at, at what point do, and this is directed to Trump supporters, at what point do you just say, what the fuck? Like, just, like, that has nothing to do with nothing. And so stop being sycophantic followers and be, have the ability to say, dude, just do your job. Just like if, if you support him for his immigration policy and say, hey, dude, just build the wall. If you support him for his economic policy, say, dude, just just keep making money. Keep keep uh, uh, keep the growth, keep job growth, um, keep economic, the, 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 the economic climate strong and, and stop worrying about, you know, small shit. But if you're just so blind, just so like that you you just you put him in this this on this pedestal where he can do and say no wrong you're ridiculous and i'm calling you out i'm calling you ridiculous if you put him on the pedestal because quite frankly we shouldn't be putting anybody on that type of pedestal you should have the ability to 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 take a look at an individual who may be doing things that you like that you agree with that you support that you want to be done and still have the intelligence and the autonomy and the, indi the, the individualism to, be, to, to say this thing is ridiculous. To point out when they do something stupid, when they say something stupid, or when they do or say something that's just flat out wrong. But what's ridiculous is that people are just so, it, 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 it's draining because it's like, grow up, grow up. Like it's it's like kids, and and you know just just forming tr you know two sides, you either with me or against me, and so once Trump says something bad about LeBron, people got to just run behind it and and just wave pom poms for him. It's ridiculous. Uh, so listen, if you support Trump, support him, but at the same time have enough authenticity enough intelligence to call out dumb shit have enough sense to say okay wait a minute what like what are you even worried about that for you know you you have a job to do run the country and don't sweat the small stuff it's really simple and it's particularly interesting because he's doing like he doesn't even attack policy he didn't even attack issues he just issued ad hominem attacks and one of these days i'm going to actually pronounce that correctly ad hominem okay i'm not gonna it's not gonna be today i won't be pronouncing it correctly today but one of these days i will <laughs> but that's what i'm saying it's just this pettiness this childness childishness which is just utterly ridiculous it's like, okay, just do your job. If you wanna if you wanna disagree with him on policy, you wanna call, you know, deal with substantive issues, cool. But for you to just you just leveling the same and you recycling the same because people can there are people on the left who are saying, Oh, this proves he's racist because he he called uh you know low IQ. Now, let's let's keep it real. Historically, it is a racist stereotype um, that is, is used to try to portray black people as being intellectually inferior. However, 
if Trump calls like dozens of people stupid, you know, of various races, it, there's less weight there. If he was only calling black people stupid uh, or a low IQ, but if he's literally calling so many people low IQ, then it just demonstrates that that's just his go-to insult. Uh, it actually <laughs> shows a lack of originality on his part. Uh, but that's where he's at. Like he he doesn't have a lot of insults. Doesn't have a a wide range, a, a wide repertoire. Maybe he needs to get some new material. But yeah, low IQ does definitely seem to be one of his. Um, you know, calling people dumb, low IQ is part of his his go to insults. And and it's but that in itself should be why you should say that's just petty. Like like it is not even original. It's 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 just ridiculous. You can come better than that. The, attack some, deal with something of substance. Talk about something of substance that you disagree with, but just such childish, ridiculous attacks that have nothing to do with nothing. Just make you look petty, because you're being petty. So I'm telling Trump supporters, call him out when he's being petty. Maybe he'll stop being petty and he can just focus on the work to do. Maybe. But then again, he's 70 plus years old. So, yeah, he's probably going to keep doing what he's doing. That's it for this episode of Escaping the Echo Chamber. Like I said, give me a thumbs up. Give me a, a share. A subscribe. And hey, if you disagree with me, if you're a Trump supporter and you hate me because, I, because I'm talking bad about your boy, go ahead. Give me a thumb down. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't care. Just engage. Um, I'll see you next episode.